I V M. Hey guys, even though Elon Musk is trying to turn everyone into robots, you'll be happy to know that very real human beings work at IVM Podcast, and some of them are even cool. How do I know? Well, listen to their own podcast, IVM Likes, where they recommend what they are listening to, watching, or reading. Catch IVM Likes every Monday on iTunes, Stitcher, or anywhere you listen to podcasts. And may I recommend the IVM Podcasts app? Hey everybody, welcome to a very special episode of the Geek Food Podcast. We have Jishnu today, we have Dinkar, and we have Naveen, our ex-producer. Ooh, and also, oh my God, uh, he's come back. He's yes. back. He's returned from the he wild. He used the, some, one of the stones, one yes. of the infinity stones. The rolling stones. Okay, he's back. All right. Yeah, he's I'm come back just, like the Hulk. Yes. So, uh, so today, as you guys know, we're going to be talking about uh, Infinity War. Avengers. So this is a completely spoiler-filled podcast, which is why we took about two weeks to kind of get into it because we wanted to watch it a couple of times and and then kind of dive into it. Give you guys the chance to watch it. Yeah, that's also true. Because yes. this is all. But in, dude, it's right like everyone's start. been watching this. This movie is huge. Yeah. It's, it goes without saying. It's should have seen biggest, it by this point. Yeah, uh, biggest you know opening ever. Da da da. All that stuff is happening. But we're here to talk about the movie and talk about the story and talk about the characters and what we loved about it and what we didn't like about it. Other things you didn't like about this movie? Just to be sure at the very outset. A couple of things. A not few really. things Not, not many I, I will yeah. only say negative things To keep the conversation interesting No no so I, I was <laughs> thinking no, I, really I was thinking we, we, at, Towards the end of the episode Maybe a few gripes here and there Obviously yeah. it's You know this movie At this scale So difficult to Gripe to, for the sake of gripe yeah. Correct exactly yeah. Precisely Because so, we're such critiques <coughs> And we're autos Of Marvel cinema <laughs> Yeah <laughs> true yes. That's the only reason I'm, so Yeah it's a I think do it the other way around. Outright, it's great. Everyone loved it. Yeah, yeah I think yes. it goes without saying Let's that make we friends. all enjoyed it. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it was but fantastic. But we will have so. to gripe a bit because uh, balance Best is ever. important. Balance, obviously. bro. Yeah. 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 Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So <laughs> cool. Let's, uh, let's, let's talk about... Uh, let's actually just get into... You want to start in reverse and talk about that ending? Since we're doing spoilers. Yeah, I mean, that's spoilers. The, Everything beyond this is that's spoilers. That's all that you'll hold in your heart as you walk away. Is uh, half the MCU evaporated? Yes. So, one thing. Did you guys think that he was uh, going to get all the Infinity Stones? What, you know, just in terms of your own expectations. Do you think yeah. he was going to get all the Stones and also do the snap? Or do you think that was going to happen in the sequel? What do you think was going to happen? I thought it was... I didn't think he'd get all the Infinity Stones to start neither, with. I thought he'd I. get like four or five. And there'd be like one last uh, stone that the... Uh, Avengers were based, tasked with protecting. So based on how well now turn this flip this around, based on how the movie began, yeah, what how quickly we lost two people like My within gosh. five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Based on that alone, I knew that I was gonna love the fact this movie like was pacing itself that quickly. Cause yeah, I, it, I was like, I love the fact that like we immediately assorted his authority and was like, cool. We're gonna and he's t- even got one stone like off screen, like right, like, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the fact that like he already started with one, yeah, with, like, yeah, he started yeah. with like yeah, bonus level up. Yeah, exactly, um, he was like. So I knew gone. that he was gonna get all of it. I knew that we were gonna see all the stones. I didn't expect the snap to happen. Yeah, even I didn't expect quite that. so uh, suddenly. Yeah, and also within the movie, man, they went for it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> they, they just yeah. totally, man. What I really loved about this is how they managed to subvert so many expectations. You know, when there's so many, you know, things that people really want to see happen. Like obviously, a big Stuff thing they've is like, been theorizing about for, for years. years right? I mean, point. like whether you know, one big thing is like which of the two biggies gonna die, right? Whether it's Tony or Steve, or what's gonna happen, who's gonna die? Basically, is a huge question that mm-hmm. always enters the fold when you're talking about these films. And uh, for me, they managed to subvert. So many expectations of mine And I think that's why I probably loved yeah. it That you know Even though seeing the trailers Seeing what may be The beats of the story But they mm-hmm. still managed A lot to of yep. like uh, Misleading stuff in the trailers as well. Yeah, Red headings and stuff How about that How, about well that? how do you guys yeah. feel about that uh, About the I'm Hulk not, not actually showing up But he's that's the last shot of the thing is, I, like, It's fine I, I'm, like, cool I'm okay with it. I only watch these trailers Because we do this damn podcast <laughs> <laughs> If it wasn't for the stupid thing I wouldn't yeah. watch these trailers And I'd be all the better off for it But that's fine But did you feel like I mean not I mean obviously We didn't feel let down Because everything was so well done but like the Hulk not being there yeah. they've conveniently removed a few stones from the gauntlet yeah. when he's the cap yeah. he's yeah. fighting you know Which like so fine. many things are totally cool they're very totally cool. cool as long as they do a good
good job, I think it's See, okay, because the right? thing is, if you need to be convinced to watch this movie, then you don't deserve to watch this movie, <laughs> right? Like, this movie needs less marketing than freaking Star Wars does. And, yeah. Like, literally everybody and their mom on the entire planet knows about these films. Yeah. And if you need a good kick-ass trailer to convince you to watch it, then then get lost and go start I, I, 10 years ago. I don't feel start like that's, the, but, 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 that's not the purpose of the trailers exactly, anymore. Exactly, yeah. The, but the, the I'm trailers saying, no, for just example, like hype, but not to, like, bring you in. But, for example, if you take a movie like Batman vs. Superman, before they dropped a trailer, I was extremely excited for it because I did like Man of Steel. I did think casting uh, Ben Affleck was a good idea. So many things yeah. that were right about uh, it, Gal Gadot, etc. The photographs yeah. that came out. And the moment the trailer dropped, our excitement for the film immediately kind of, you know, yeah. fell. We and saw I the think trailer and we were like, false gods. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. But Marvel so, has been at this game For so long yeah, now. Disney like, dude yeah. Disney is so just that's so the on point thing. With I trailers. think Marvel yeah. At this point The way they've made this movie The way they put out the trailers Everything just shows That they understand Their fans so well yeah. They knew exactly What they were expecting They knew how to Subvert those expectations Without pissing them off yeah. Which is mm-hmm. not easy Because mm-hmm. everything they did Were like If their intention was just like Oh this is what you want We won't give it to you You could walk out of the theater Going like Screw these yeah, guys yeah, exactly. But we're walking out Of the theater going like That was amazing I did not expect that yeah, in a true. happy way yeah you know like even though they did something other than what we probably expected yeah. but two of my main gripes that I had with the Marvel Universe are now solved because bad villain issue was happening okay. for like Correct. several yeah. movies now I think people are pretty split over that villain though I feel like uh, Thanos, from whatever I've been reading yeah I think Thanos. some people think that Thanos is like you know it's a good idea at least to give him a good arc this way and stuff and some people are just like big purple dude trying to take over the he's house. not that purple <laughs> he's, more he's, more he's more of lavender he's lavender yeah. Yeah, he's well, that's, that's my biggest gripe uh, with the Marvel Cinematic no, Universe man, dude the they, moment he gets the reality stone and the space stone mm-hmm. red and blue make purple so you're good <laughs> also he got fuller <laughs> lips by like because in the earlier ones you yeah. see his lips are very thin lined he's been Botox yeah. Yeah, yeah he's been Botoxing around before yeah. coming to earth that's so also, what was the other gripe that you had with the film <laughs> <laughs> with the with Marvel in general, you say? Yeah, okay. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that big a gripe? It wasn't, like, wasn't that big a gripe. I was like, I mean, yeah, we don't have that big. <laughs> I, fe- I felt like Thanos was a good villain, though. I, I really like. I did like him as well. Yeah. His motivation is nice. Yeah. Overpopulation is. Oh bad. yeah, I forgot. Yeah, cool, I remember cool. the gripe. What is the gripe? Ah. Like not many deaths. Like you know, like everybody ah. who dies, this comes back in one way or the other. So I think oh, that's they, also been a huge. Yeah, you wanted more like real deaths, like yeah, physical deaths. I can by now say like, okay, Heimdall, Loki, Gamora gone for good. Like we don't. No. I don't Gamora, that. I'm not convinced yeah, Gamora's Loki gone. and See, Heimdall I am Because I think that You know Man, you know It just goes to say that You know If you have the power Of the infinity gauntlet What's stopping The person who's wielding it From right. reversing Practically everything A And B If they do wanna And I know Kevin Feige Has gone out on record To say But they've said They said this was the culmination Of 10 years of films Right mm-hmm. And it's clearly like Such a cliffhanger ending Which it's we predicted It's part one of the culmination which, yeah. Yeah. I mean no They said this is the movie That will close right. the book okay. On the film So I think to that end What this movie has done What what it has now Changed the game for Or whatever that However you want to use that mm-hmm. Expression Is the fact that they have now shot themselves in the foot knowingly. Like, they took a giant shotgun and said, watch me do this. <laughs> and what I mean by that is now we've come to the point where since reality is so warped and these deaths are sort of in limbo, we never know if it is or if it isn't, mm-hmm. we are more comic booky than ever. Like, we have reached the pinnacle of the comic book movie. We Correct, have reached, yes. like, the height I of think the that's genre. absolutely true. And so what is going to happen now is you're either with it or you're going to get fatigued and they know exactly what they're doing about that because I think now the comic book nerds that grew up reading this and like have been longing for like this like the, the pulpiness of this the pulpiness yeah, of the comic yeah, book yeah, yeah. is coming to fruition completely yeah, yeah. and so moving forward now since we're going to get more cosmic and even stranger and even weirder and potentially having like recasting of superheroes and whatnot in the future yeah. now is when you're going to filter out the passive audience now it's going to be you're either a full blown comic book fan and you watch these movies or you abandon ship and you say, okay, now I'm gonna go try something new. Are you which sure is which about is what I think which is what I think the writers are gonna do. I think see now yeah. now screenwriters are gonna be challenged to question the norm of these kind of movies. We've been saying like like you said, you know, the villain problem in the MCU the, mm. was always the fact that the comic book movies thus far, literally up until this movie, had been pretty cookie cutter for the most part. In that the structurally, the way they worked and where the plots worked, the way the act three was always kind of predictable yeah. was the same thing now that we've done this where we've subverted that and we've made the first time ever Marvel has had an act three that was genuinely just jaw dropping from yeah, start to finish definitely like literally up until the very last frame of the movie that meant that they said forget it we're gonna play this literally like a comic and not like a film because another thing that I was thinking about going into this was because it's Disney the thing that Disney has been doing since a year ago 
with um, sorry since two years ago since mm-hmm. Force Awakens was when they did the literal cliffhanger scene at the end of Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. I walked away going, did I just watch a TV show? Yeah. Because that's how it ended. And that's exactly how this one ended. I was wondering this if they were playing the clock from 24 to go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm waiting for now is to see if all tentpole Disney films are now going to be treated like a TV show because this is literally like how a comic book ends it's like how a TV show it's ends like and now a, a movie is ending exactly. I, yeah, I feel like they're doing that with their franchises in general but I, now, yeah. but I, but you know what I, I, I do believe is that I don't think they'd want to alienate their audiences so much because it is, yeah, it is tiring like, I, right I didn't think of this perspective at all but uh, I think what Vishnu is c- saying is right in terms of comic books at least like your comic books now they are very take it or leave it at this point like Civil War 2 if you read it it's like if you don't understand who everyone is going in you're just yeah. like what is but, even but happening the, so I'll tell you what and has also it, been yeah. happening in the comics is that they've been doing a lot of hard resets right like whether exactly. it's DC right, Zero right, right. So or the Sun Zero so, so, exactly. I think so that's, that's what's going to happen now this so, has reached so far into the reaches of like you know like absurdity I mean literally this movie if you watch even like maybe five films out of the MCU mm-hmm. this is still not going to make sense yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. it's like nobody's been given any introductions right. it's just like boom 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 exactly. you have to which be acquainted which is beautiful because it is the most it's true to the form it's true to it's it's most true to the source material uh, which is a really painful statement to say but it's true because I, it's, it's I, like it's I, I weird you know? I think they they're going to do this that hard, with this the hard, hard reset is going to happen it's going to be year. a yeah, new which is, which is fine. style thing exactly. which is totally like fine everyone because come back the thing is like when now when somebody wakes up from under the rock they've been and says okay I'm going to invest in say Black Panther 2 and if Black Panther 2 is with Letitia Wright they're like okay Black Panther is a female character that's great I'm going to watch this movie because of that Yeah, fine so, by me but now when you see a random insert of whoever the hell Don Cheadle shows up for whatever reason Mm. They might go WTF, but they're going to feel a little alienated when everybody else in the audience goes woo. And then hopefully, if that intro is cool enough, then the woos will be enough for them to say, okay, maybe I'll go home and I'll I'll rewatch some of the back pages. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I think I don't think their next phase is going to be like so dependent on on you know knowing so much of the history. I think that is yeah. what I think is going to be different, right? right? Like you know, it's going to be new characters. I mean, that's why they're investing so much in doing a Black Panther or a Captain Marvel and stuff like. Imagine like we're literally getting Captain Marvel like a month before the next Avengers. So by the time you come into the movie, you're like Boom! I know everything about Captain Marvel yeah, and yeah. everything. That's my yeah, person yeah, exactly. I can follow. In yeah, that's the thing, right? Like with us right now, we we obsess over these little things. We about nitties, about like we just care about others, man. Yeah, yeah. We want others to catch up. <laughs> but yeah. but there are people who just go to these movies for the for the blast for the spectacle. And, yeah, for yeah, spectacle. Dude, hundred percent. Like, like yeah. Iron Man has a new suit. Woo! I'm gonna woo that. Yeah. The emotional heft, that fact that he's left Pepper behind. The wedding bells are still like I'm not sure. We we care for that, you know. Yeah. So I think there'll always be that uh, bifurcation of people. Where how where, deep are you going? Yeah. The story, so the, the, crea- the think, creators will keep yeah. investing in that the emotional heft as well at the same time, and they'll get both audiences irrespective of that. I think so. Yeah. I think and the good thing is that yeah. uh, the story, the way they're telling it, works on all these levels, right? You could be invested that much, and maybe like from one perspective, you can be like, "Well, I understand it so much better and care so much more." But someone who's relatively green with this universe or with these characters in general, I mean, a lot of people are they might be super fans of the MCU now, but knew nothing of the comics, yeah. right? And now they're going back and yeah, yeah so mm. that's perfect right yeah. but no, once you started watching these <laughs> <laughs> so yourself yeah, once, once you I started, started watching them I went you back started going back to the comics yeah, right? exactly. I feel yeah. like now from uh, phase uh, A onwards <laughs> they'll, they'll can the numbers and start letting them now from phase A onwards yeah. maybe this becomes like uh, the comics to MCU's original comics correct yeah I agree it's yeah, source material that exists in the past that you can come back to but it works independently as well absolutely yeah it's like yeah, like, it's what they've been using I think the phraseology they've been using is uh, it's saying it's a book and this is the last chapter right. da, correct. Da, da, and whatever and so, so, so I think to, that's to that end the, the other thing which uh, <coughs> I was thinking about so we did that marathon uh, if, I don't know if you guys <laughs> saw it we, uh, no. when I say we it primarily they just by which I mean only I think you were the only one that sat through 36 I think hours? Uh, yeah if, yeah. It, if okay. you had to rank it it was me then Dinkar then uh, Mali I think <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe Mali yeah yeah so, you're yeah. a lot better people than I yeah. so we sat through 36 hours of all 17 18 movies whatever up until that point and obviously we started with Iron Man because that is the one that began everything and it is a great film it holds up nobody I think has any major quabbles with that movie quibbles yeah, quabbles. It's, a, it's, a, it's a squabbles solid, squabbles it's a solid <laughs> film right but in retrospect that movie like it worked so well because it didn't have any stakes attached to yeah, it it no, had no, nothing no, it, it had nothing to, to live up to right, anything, right? Nothing, so yeah. so when that movie ended with uh, Fury coming in that's really the only real moment that 
matters in the long run of things in terms Which of like Which was at that point an experiment. Yeah, yeah. totally, like, right? Would people care about this? Exactly. And so I feel like we're going to see a lot similar beats like that happening now because the way this movie ends, it ends because it can end in such a cool place because you know going into it that it's going to be an unfinished story. We don't know how unfinished it was going to be. We don't know it was going to be so blatantly unfinished, yeah. which is cool and all great. Yeah. But I think now they can only do that even more, which is solid. And so moving forward, I think it's going to be really interesting because that form of structure of each film has to be a complete isolated story in itself, one off standalone so you can just enjoy it as one piece. That restriction has been lifted. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm just really looking forward to being surprised by a new type of form, which I think they know they need to do because they've been so good at like dealing with audience response and like yeah, taking that into consideration and like messing with that. It's the fan and service so, is 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 top quality. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just really excited to see how they change the game for them. Yeah. Uh let's take a short break. We're going to come back and read some emails from people who have been writing in about uh Infinity War. Yeah. Did you know India's most popular music festival was in a way conceived in Estonia? We speak to someone who knows a thing or two about making the NS7 weekender happen. Did you know that some termites in Africa have a pleasant minty flavor and just as well because we might all be eating them in a few years anyway? Did you know that the world's greatest collection of human knowledge got its initial funding from a porn site? That's how Wikipedia started and we tell you how it works. Hey, I'm Chuck. I'm Naren and I'm Srikith and together we are Simplified. Your fortnightly look at burning issues that you should know about. Told to you in a way you'll understand with humor, bad jokes and PG Wodehouse references so that you can look smarter with minimal effort. Be smart, funny, erudite and wise and ultra crepidarian. Wait, what's that? To find out, tune into our show. Episodes out every fortnight on all podcast apps near you and on the IVM podcast app as well. Oh yeah. Welcome back to the Geek Food Podcast. We are talking Avengers: Colon Infinity War. So up to this point, we were sort of discussing uh, how this Collins. movie, yeah, <laughs> the Avengers: Colons, and uh, how they impact the MCU going forward and looking backward and so on. So uh, let's do this. Let's uh, talk to some of our fans. With by hearing from them via their <laughs> electronic <laughs> mails. <laughs> let's I hear what some Where other fans have to say, and then uh, let's get into the discussing this movie specifically. It's the story, yeah, yeah, the story. So, uh, Jishnu, you have some emails. Yeah, uh, cut to our reporter in the field, uh, Shivang Kupta. So he's he's literally written this like a pen pal. Uh, <laughs> I love letter, it. Thank you, Shivang. Thank you so but much. I think it's been a while since we've iterated. Guys, bullet points. Oh, right. Please. Bullet points. Please, bullet points. Because this um, this little essay is a little much right now. But I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. Uh, greetings. I saw Infinity Wars. Let me stop him right there. A lot of people have been calling it Infinity Wars. Plural. Because there's well, two of them. No, there's how many? This is a sing- <laughs> well, if you're saying one Infinity... War, two one movies. war, many battles. Oh, the Infinity Sanju. Wars. Yeah. 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 Star Wars, Infinity War... Uh, yeah, I think okay. it's the war of the infinity. I think it's because you're using the term infinity, which literally means countless. Yeah. So you can't just put, put a, a plural. Wars. Yeah. yeah. I saw Infinity Wars after two days. It was released. Loki died in the first few minutes, but the god of mischief was foolish. Is he just wicking us? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've, we've also goes. seen the movie, Shivam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would be awesome? What if we were just like, wait, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> you can't spoil for the spoilers. Yeah. yeah. What would be awesome if Loki reincarnates as a mortal on Earth after some time, setting a premise for his standalone film? What? Makes sense. Okay, I, I guess. reborn I, as a mortal on Earth? I don't think so. I I think, this is not uh, Hindu mythology. Yeah, I don't know. If literally, another but, type of mythology. But Loki, yeah, Loki has and, done that a type of mythology that has like reincarnations all the time, including Loki's. Yeah. But I think this time he's uh, gone for good. Gone for good. No, but if he if he does, my hope is if he does get reincarnated, he gets reincarnated as a wooden mask that goes yes. um, to Stanley, down the Stanley, river. Yeah, 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 Stanley 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 what, what city is that in? It's in New York. Is it New York? I feel like it's its own made-up city. No, no, it's in New York. Okay, yeah. I love that we got to witness Thanos' vulnerable side. Plus, the guys that disappeared in the end may not be dead. Cause Phase 4 has Guardians... Yeah, he's literally Wikipedia. Yeah, he's okay. Th- okay, Shivak. Okay, okay, wait, hang on. <laughs> okay, Shivak, listen. Guys, speak amongst yourselves. I'm going to read the rest of this and see if there's Shibang, any point uh, towards things. the end of this. Uh, I mean, thanks for sending in this mail. Uh, but uh, I hope there's a question in there somewhere. But uh, yeah, if you sent in this mail before we saw the film... Uh, Shivank, uh, I'm going to echo a quote from Mr. Wonderful. You're dead to me. <laughs> I hope I... Yeah, if I read this mail before seeing this the movie... Not something wonderful. He yeah. but uh, he sent this word yesterday, day before, a few days ago. So okay, he he, okay. Is, Shivang, he can reasonably expect that we've watched it multiple okay. times. He Shivang, says, lastly, I would like to say that this is the most emaily I can get. 
That's a word now. Thank you. This message contains spoilers. Well, oh. <laughs> as Wong once yeah. said, the warning comes after the spell. Ah, okay, good one. But I was well going to say open, open with that next time. He says, "P.S. Read this when you do an Infinity War episode." <laughs> I need the time stone to navigate this thing. Oh, okay. But yeah. Shivang, thank you so much. I wish there was a question in there. Yes, we yeah. did watch the movie. Uh, shall we move on? <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay. Question, question, and bullet points. Next do we time, do we have another? Yeah. Uh, okay, fine. From Aniket, right. what was the most shocking moment for you guys? <clears throat> My, uh, guys with a Z mm-hmm. uh, Mine was Red Skull's Return And I agree I completely. agree Yeah that was Not shocking Like it was yeah, not like, It was like It was I wow. was so I was, happy with I was life. happy yeah. I was so Mainly because we did That damn marathon yeah, Exactly right? Because yeah. we just exactly. seen Captain America So just just so you know If I'm not mistaken We did speculate We also. did yeah, We yeah, did yeah. Yeah. We yeah. totally did And up until He definitely said no Yeah Okay so Up until two weeks ago I was assuming That he was dead Like I I forgot Like what happened I don't remember Like that movie So clearly right now So so let me tell you Exactly how we saw it right so that's the thing that that stood out the fact that when you see that movie again when you when you see captain america the first avenger you see that they've got the tesseract they've weaponized it they put it into guns and then hydra is like shooting and blue some rays at you people. can yeah some you can weaponize some yeah. uh, evaporate <clears throat> stuff but some no it, it was that way i think if, unless i'm wrong they if they miss hitting somebody they make explosions <laughs> if they hit a living, a, no, a it, sure. but if they hit people you turn blue and you turn to dust. No, you don't. You, or you, you phase you, away. You phase, phase away. away. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You all go to war meal. Which yeah. we thought at the time was they die. Cool. And then at the end of the movie, um, Cap and Red Skull are facing off and they're going fisty cuffs and nothing happens. And so Red Skull's like, screw it. I'm just going to pick this up and throw it at you like a stone. <laughs> and he picks it up and then his hand gets really hot and he goes, ah. And then Scotty beams him up. Yeah, you he see gets blue, beamed up. You yeah. see a blue light and he just goes. Shoop. Into the universe, which has opened up. Like, and at again, the time, at, the time, at the time, even Cap thought, oh, cool. I guess he's evaporated. He's gone. Hooray. Yeah. He's not up. So, I guess he's not gonna. He's not gonna so ruin really life cool for thing, all of us ten years from now. The really cool yeah. thing is that it's the same writers yeah. that did Cap One, Marcus, Marcus and McFeely, McFeely. and Those Infinity are my War. Boys, dude. So yeah. I don't know yeah, if they the seeded that idea, or if they were just like, "Let me just put him somewhere else, and I'll put him in my back pocket." And yeah, I'll bring I think him back. back pocket is Again, 100%. so yeah. comic-y because yeah. those are comics boys. Yeah, yeah. 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 just I just imagine like I was so happy with like a hologram screen where just like side him on the side, and they have like a small point where they put him. I would say to me the Red Skull moment. Was surprising, but I don't feel like it's it not the shocker. I, I lost the, my touch. It wasn't. Yeah, it was great. great. It, it was, was a, a great nice great moment, moment, but it's not like uh, it's not like it wasn't Game of Thrones. Shocking like, oh my from a story shock. point of view. Yeah. Like, he's Watchman. My tits were sticky <laughs> because they were on the floor <laughs> oh, and then, like the, the, the popcorn and the. I'll uh, tell you how I would have been so shocked. Like, oh no, my tits. What if it had been like an Armin Zola, or what if it had been? We've seen Zola. What if it had been? No, but what if he was the guy guarding the Soul Stone, or if it had been Mission Report? <laughs> Mission Report. Oh, yeah, he became a glorified watchman, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what he was a watchman, and it was yeah. uh, uh, this uh, Ross Marquand man from uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead, my yeah. boy. Yeah. yeah, doing basically a huge impression, really really yeah. yeah. really yeah. 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 which he's great at. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, that was excellent. I think what was your most uh, shocking moment? There were several, but I Wait, think can I can I say which moment of your shock I loved? The oh yeah. Most? No, yeah, dude. No, the whole theater knew. Was the whole theater knew. Oh my goodness! What was it? What was it? It was, it? It was fantastic. The, wait, what are we, are we made the movie so just, much wait, more exciting. They just, which me. moment are you talking about? I'm talking about the the Wakanda fight. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yes, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody else is exciting than that. that was, dude, just, okay, <laughs> not shocking, uh, but I mean, w- w- just cool. No, ex- okay. Okay. Are we story? doing cool what or shocking? Exactly. Are we doing cool or shocking? I'm doing shocking, but first, the shock of watching him watch a cool moment. The point where my tits hit. Yeah, sticky end. Is it Thor? Right? No, no, no. It's, I'm it's, talking it's about the traffic of women fighting. Yes. The, oh yeah, yeah. the yeah, best the best right. line in the movie was from Naveen. Yeah. Oh yeah, mother check fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. brilliant. So brilliant. This is when uh, the Okoye, oh, uh, Black Widow and, and Scarlet, uh, Scarlet Witch are facing off against. Oh, that was a great Proxima fight. Nova, yeah. Yeah. That was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an Oya motherfucker check fight only. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was good. I love but it. Another moment that I know that you also got really excited about which left me a little confused and I had to watch it a second time to like see if I could figure mm. out what had happened and it didn't help seeing it the second time it is as random so like an, my tiny tiny little gripe yeah. um, is with Cap yeah. who I freaking love love yeah of I course I love Cap I feel we all got a so, little short yeah, change right? Red like, felt yeah. a bit short changed yeah. his intro was badass it was amazing but really out of nowhere it made no sense no I know, of course it made no, sense no, no 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 so hear me out so it was basically we knew that Vision and Scarlet Witch were on leave extended leave against their <coughs> bosses the will of the yeah. West. right yeah, yeah. so yeah. they kindly them. approved so my leave for uh, both Tony and Cap didn't want them to be gone for as long as they were right yeah. but then uh, these two get hit by the 
children of Thanos are running around. So yeah. cool. So we can assume that Cap is now keeping tabs on. You're saying how he, uh, how he ended up in train because station? How he ended up in train station? Because this guy how he ended up in train station? He calls him. Who calls Banner calls Steve. Ma- Bruce Banner calls yeah. Steve right. and tells him to go get Vision because he's got the mind gem. But no, how but does how do you Steve know, know that Vision is because in the train station? Because they have Natasha and Anthony Mackie. One second. These guys are the Avengers. But no, but that's the thing. But see the way the way it's set up as far as I took it was that Vision and Wanda had deliberately slipped under the radar to get time off because they said no I don't want to come into work today no they weren't completely wanna... under the radar yeah, they, they were, uh, people knew where they Vision were had turned off his and they did have like uh, like they Either were already way. discussing also, 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 it's a tiny gripe it's also like, uh, so, they're yeah. the Avengers they're, they're the Avengers yeah, so I didn't whenever the, the children of Thanos travel to Earth they mm-hmm. travel in giant spaceships so there's going to be an energy surge also if true Natasha yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you can explain it exactly give Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. two episodes but I don't need to give it to you <laughs> but uh, speaking about Vision and Wanda, yeah. my one more uh, gripe that I have, I said I have few. Like one no, of them talking was talking about cool, shocking moments. <laughs> no, no, we'll, 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 go, we'll go back. We'll go back. The, your gripes are shocking to me. <laughs> <laughs> what was your cool slash shocking moment? Uh, my, okay, what's your shocking moment? My shocking moment uh, one was very minor in the long run of the movie, which is the two hour forty minutes of the movie. But uh, when they are at the collector's place, the Guardians to fight mm-hmm. Thanos, yeah. and he sort of just waves his hand and splits Drax and Magus yeah. into pieces. Oh. Yeah. I was just like, what wow. the hell? I, just yeah. Yeah. I thought they died. Yeah, yeah, that was I thought it. they died. They, they were done. So yeah. they, 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 I, no, they, they reversed were, that in the, the next like, five know, minutes. You can but tell it was a it, moment. It's just a moment because even Mantis when Mantis blinks. You can see yes. Mantis. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. It's the Mantis like, blink which saves the entire... Yeah, but I thought, oh, is that yeah. how they're going to live now? Another shocking moment was when Thanos stabs Tony. I was just like, that's it. This is done. You could feel that one coming. You know what? You know what? It felt like it was in the abdomen. It was in the side. What it reminded me a lot of was... Phantom Menace or uh, Qui Gon versus Darth Maul. <laughs> like you can sense that shit is coming. Yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. like you gonna know happen. that's gonna happen, and then it happens, and just like, <laughs> 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 that's exactly what. You're it is. like mother. Yeah. <laughs> Not a chick for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think uh, I think that was also that. But uh, are we talking badass moments as well? The, I think there's one badass moment which just I think floored Thor entering Wakanda. Uh, Thor entering yeah. Wakanda yeah. Yeah. is the yeah. yeah. best moment. Repeat viewings. Everybody screams at it's that point. Just, yeah, yeah. It's, Hell, it's yeah. too good, man. Yep. And I was just we were so Dinkar and I were talking about this. So Chris Hemsworth is the second build actor on the entire film, right? It's mm-hmm. Robert Downey and then Chris Hemsworth, yeah. and not Chris Evans. I mean, third is uh, Mark Ruffalo and then mm. Chris Evans, etc. And I always always thought that Chris Evans would be like the main dude yeah. but I think is it because of Ragnarok or how well it's done or I, but I think because of screen time yeah he yeah, just I mean, gets way more just, screen time yeah, yeah. Just doesn't, but I'm like, saying like why Cap, is that because Cap also like just has fewer lines like yeah. all his lines are literally playing general guys we need to come here alright team up yeah, right, he has come no, on he has me no, alright no, six and uh, against uh, Thanos is like, nothing like he's he's an ant I mean yeah I mean Thor is really the strongest of but you know honestly honestly the okay He's like going God. going back to the to the trailer stuff. The two things that I wish they didn't give away in the trailer, which I realize now would have been one a lot more funnier and two a lot more <laughs> badass. One really funny moment was uh, when I watched it second time. I watched it with a crowd that was not like super jazzed, yeah. so like there wasn't really as much audible whoops and whoops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was the um, what's your face? Doctor oh, Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange yeah, and, and Peter. Spider, like, yeah, hey, yeah. I'm Peter. By the way, that Correct. that that joke hmm. when it landed the second time around, it was. With the audience that hadn't seen the trailers clearly, it killed. Yeah. But we'd already seen it, so we're like, okay, yeah, <laughs> no, that's it that still joke. works. It's still, it's still yeah. fine. But the second one that was really badass, which I wish we hadn't seen, was Cap uh, grabbing the gauntlet. Oh yeah, and fighting it off. Like he didn't have to say anything. It's super. Cause he's the only one in the entire film that actually could do Man, that. But and they but that was that, subverted. Yeah, they overplayed that so much in the trailer. Exactly, yeah, it's, it was a really quiet moment. moment. Yeah. And, and it's the, a beautiful moment because it's, it's a great moment. It's seconds before the Mind Stone is gonna, yeah, yeah. you know, but blow it's, up it's, and stuff. It's so solid. It's, like I yeah. mean, it's still like when he's doing that, you can still see like Thanos is having some some sort of trouble kind of dealing with them. But like, yeah. it's not what the scene I is about. I like that moment because it wasn't super impactful. Yeah. I think they, in a story they, sense they made it even on Thanos' face it's just like wait what yes this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then so, like what I love is that he's just like I'll right. just punch you with my other hand yeah I exactly <laughs> I've got two of them yeah. <laughs> but while we talk about how like uh, Dax and Magnus would turn into like weird shapes yeah. he could have done the same thing over there the well, thing is that they are building up to the whole destruction of the mind stone so, so yeah. hardcore that yeah. they're doing the whole you know he's taking I think, time yeah, no but I mean you can see man the problem is uh, you know when you have something so infinitely powerful pun intended yeah. uh, it's that just that gauntlet is a you can't I mean you can't write 
write a movie around it unless there's like I mean you want to punch it in the end you yeah. want to have hence, a fight hence more the most comic booky movie correct but yeah. there is one line where they try and write it off uh, it's like which I notice only after watching the second time is when they're fighting on Titan and Doctor Strange says to the cloak of levitation he's like don't let him close Close. his fist right Mm -hmm. and I think that's kind of what they're basing the entire thing around is that you distract him too much to be closed to to, to do or like to basically execute that I mean again it doesn't mean that he couldn't have done it at any other point of the film No, but But the fact that they attempted to kind of write it off and say that it's not as easy as it looks you know but it is a tricky thing to deal with the gauntlet anyway because it can basically it can work you out of any situation but in nowhere in nowhere he's not closing his fist at all he's just like doing this while he's holding his hand out to Gamora yeah his hand he just sort of waves his yeah, hand but I mean like yeah. the thing is like we're dealing in the world that lives you know right alongside like laser swords and I, space back exactly. pilots and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, wait, wait, wait. it's like I feel like, like we're getting, like, getting very line. bogged down yeah, in the minutia of it yeah. Yeah. did y'all like Athanas or not like Athanas I loved him a huge fan Good. I, I, I think, did, I think did, it, now let me ask you a question that yeah. uh, I read an article about on vulture.com is Thanos hot <laughs> is he a space daddy? <laughs> I would swipe <laughs> yeah. left. I I think he I think he's uh I mean he's got that you know, as manly the, jaw. As the only gay person oh, on the No, I think the, the jaw is the worst part of him. No, the yes, jaw is the, tell the, us as a and domain he's a, expert. He's a sensitive dude. The, the jaw reminds me of Scrotum. <laughs> the gay speaks what? Go for it. The jaw reminds me of Scrotum as a uh, style of body. It's not. I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's it's not a bad thing. But no, see, here's my Griffin has a scrotum jaw. Right. That's true. <laughs> this guy has a manly ass jaw, dude. No, Jaws. that's that's a baby scrotum. Peter. Okay, so this is a grown. <laughs> <man>. Anyways, <laughs> it's Peter Griffin Thanos. What I found. <laughs> origin story. So I found Thanos hot the first time around, but mm-hmm. the second viewing, I noticed his hands are extremely huge, mm-hmm. like yeah. the long, they, like you know how the hands. Tall. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's girl yeah. like. So it's like not fun. He's you know? a little elephantine. Yeah, just spooning him with him basically, like you know, you get uh, cocooned into his arms. That's not fun. Yeah, I so, I don't I also I can't that, comment I on this. Like, <laughs> the entire staff of Vulture writing it and like half them are like I never thought of this no, before. Take, take the and other now examples. I hate to say it, but he's hot. He's but hot the, the, no, he's I, also I, hot I, for other reasons. Like he's a sensitive guy. He cries. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. emotional. Yeah. He is emotional. He's, he's a logical man. He's, he's got a strong cursed, sense of purpose. He's cursed with intelligence. He loves he, sunsets. He loves sunsets. He's a fam. Dude, I told he you. He likes kids, but only half of them. He did what every person in Bombay wants to do, which is go and retire in like Satara or something. I, 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 I literally just feel like and <laughs> but sure. they want they basically went to Nasik and Nasik yeah. But, the, yeah, the, yeah. So I, I think part of the fact that we you can find him hot in theory even if you don't literally is uh, he's got a great arc man he's like he's a Solid. real mm-hmm. nicely developed Solid. character yeah and that's so, yeah. for a movie which is so packed yeah. the, the Gamora yeah. death scene the minute it started out the minute you know um, did Ritz you Ritz see Ritz that said, yeah I mean the thing is like what I loved is that even though I saw it coming it was handled very nicely beautifully because it was nothing like horribly surprising about it it was just handled with care and now that I think about it this movie is so similar to Force Awakens in two of the biggest beats one it ends on the biggest cliffhanger that the plot possibly can leave you on and two the two of the biggest players in both movies die in a fall Hmm. with a slow mo (laughs) like I was uh, we were just talking about this uh, on the way back from our second viewing today (laughs) But uh, what was weird to me about that Gamora fall and why I feel like she's not coming back for sure is the fact that when they cut to her, they show you the body she's like, like yeah, lying there all twisted like, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, right, yeah. You would expect it to have gone into like some deep abyss and then like you're like, oh, she went into the darkness instead. Like you cut and she's or like, into the she's like, yeah, or into the soul stone. Yeah, or into the soul stone, which is a thing stone. in the comics. Instead, you look down, it's like, oh, she's like, I can see her. She's yeah. legit dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, but but it's only one sort of splat. They just like cut to Thanos' face and then she's like, oh, yeah. dead body. That just seems like a very comical reverse shot yeah. to take. No, but Zoe Saldana acted the shit out of that whole scene. So it's a great job. Both of them, even like Josh Rollins delivery, Zoe Saldana's. This is the difference delivery. between this CGI villain and like one in Justice League, right? Yeah, like, because yeah. that one, it's, it's just monologuing and just like the power of the mother box is in my hands and yeah, everything. Yeah, and this voice. guy's just like got they've mo capped him. It's just like so much more depth, so brilliant. much more. He's so good, man. Yeah, he's excellent. Do you think? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you think he should have pushed Gamora off? See that she's fallen gone like. Oh shit! Her legs have turned to jelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, let's take a, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Uh, we'll be back to talk more about Infinity War. Yeah, it's AVM here. Let's go. We the AVM kids on the block over here. Just to talk, taking a break from 
producing all day, coming on this podcast because we got stuff to say. IBM Daily is the name of the show. Monday to Friday, we ready to go. Talking about stuff in our head, we might even talk about our favorite bread. Signing out, it's IBM here, the podcast network that's in your ear. Catch IBM Daily, Monday to Friday, on the IBM Podcast app or wherever you get your podcasts. Right, we're back. We're talking about Infinity War. <laughs> so to explain that jelly comment from just before the break, which was the cliffhanger we left you with, <laughs> one of my biggest gripes and only gripes with Thanos is at the start of the movie, he gives this intense, his first monologue, he's mm. like, I know what fear does to a man. It turns his legs to jelly. And I'm like, how does this guy know what jelly is? Yeah. It's not a thing from Titan. We yeah. made it here. No, they never showed you what he gives Gamora yeah. in that little cup. Which was probably you, jelly. You never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Which I is why it. it's so fulfilling. Earlier, Gamora pushed the jelly away. And now, <laughs> Thanos pushed Gamora away and turned her into jelly. <laughs> oh so God. cool. That is a talk of the villain. Let's talk of the heroes uh, and the fact yeah, I that they about all the, gone. The, the MVP of the film for you, okay? Yeah. Like, yeah. MVPs. I think I want to put it on two or three people. Did you? Yeah, did you, you snap you, you your can't fingers snap and then be non-committal about okay, it. No, no, yeah. so, and and also, okay, no, no. Number one on my list. Half the people on this episode just disappeared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the way, so just before this, have you gone to did Thanos kill dot me? Oh Jesus! <laughs> okay, <laughs> and basically yeah, it'll yeah, tell you whether yeah, you're. Yeah. And yeah. I survived. I was spared by Thanos, yeah. but poor Dinka. I went. Yeah, but he did it because it was the you know plan of the universe. So sorry yeah. about that. It's fine. So um no, but I think the MVP for me is definitely uh, Doctor Strange. Yes, likewise. Because this guy, yeah, I mean, he's had one movie, okay, <laughs> and he's suddenly like the most like formidable badass. Like when the moment Benedict says you've you know found yourself with the master of the mystic arts, I was just like, no, oh, okay, cool. He was just the, he just got that title, yeah. but like he kind of then, shows that he knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah. He's got the whole caveat of this thing where he's seen all these multiple futures, and he knows that this is the course. This is that the only yeah. So it's all so far. Whatever's happened is according to his uh, his plan, so to speak. His, yeah, yeah, yeah. Star Lord. It up also is just is part, apparently of part of the plan. He was just like, ah, oh, okay, just do it. <laughs> he, he could have stopped him otherwise, right? I mean, I, I guess you know, I don't, I don't know, man, how far his powers go. But if they he just go pretty far, so, like, yeah. the, in the same so, fight scene. So the two yeah. line, the two lines to take away from that. Uh, one, he says to Tony when you know when Thanos leaves the first time around. Yeah. Well, not the first time when he leaves. When Titan. in the end game now. When the end yeah, game before now. the end game, he says that this is. The only way it's that was only way it can go, and no, then he says it's at the end. end. No, that he says it at the end. He, but no, before he is, disappears, yeah, it's the end game now. Yeah, before he disappears, he says it's the end game now. No, 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 no before he disappears, he says that was the only that, way. He's oh, like, okay, he says there was, way, there was no other. So way. There basically, was no other way. he's in control the entire time. Like he knows exactly. I don't think he's in control, but he definitely knows that this is the way it has. He's in control even in his vision of the future where they win, right? Even in his vision of the future where they win, he's still not present. Like until whatever reverses him back or whatever it is, he's not going to be present. So hardly could he control the events of what's going to happen yeah. next, which I think balances out really well. If somebody is, if you have a powerful character like Doctor Strange who literally knows everything that's going to happen, but then you remove him from the game, then it still makes it a little yeah. more balanced, a little that's, more interesting. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. So I think for me, man, MVP. I was going to say him and the second one I think is Shuri man like cuz Shuri was great. Yeah cuz Shuri is like the smartest person on earth as mm-hmm. far as we have seen right and she we don't know actually how much she may have been able to separate the mind stone and keep how much of vision yeah, yeah, back because, because the whole build up is like she's doing something. She's doing something and Basically, she has to shut did it she, down. did she have enough time to make backup? I, yeah exactly. Could she uh, save him yeah, to the cloud? Auto auto save. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Auto saved it. Yeah so I don't know like maybe that's also another thing. And then but yeah, but yeah. moving forward, that the, only the, plays. The, yeah, that plays into whether Vision will come back or not. Basically. But moving oh, forward, yeah. the, the moment that that sort of sealed the deal for me, where I knew everything was going to be fine, even though the ending was still a ways away. This is pretty early, not not that early. I guess somewhere around the middle of the movie, but before they hit Titan, after they freed Strange, uh, when it's Tony, Peter, and Strange talking before they land, um, when they're arguing about should we go, should we take the fight back home, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So two things happen from Tony. One, he literally knights. Peter, yeah, which, is a, a, which is a great yes, moment, such a good yeah. and the other is mid argument with Strange because of the egos. He's like Tony's been in more arguments than anybody in this entire universe. Like he mm. constantly is arguing with people, especially people that have a that have a, a, valid a big point. alpha, yeah, <laughs> the valid point for one, <laughs> but that have that alpha mentality as well. And what I loved is that he let the fight go relatively quickly because he knows, like, okay, I'm just doing this again. This is me more than him. Mm. And two, he says, "All right, cool, moral compass." 
So hmm. to me, that tells me we've seen the handoff in the most subtle way possible, as opposed to like Peter holding Tony, dying in his arms, like, "All right, buddy, it's you now. Peace, bye." Instead of that, he's just like casually like, "Bitty dubs." You're cool. I like you. So mm. I, yeah, you have my blessing. Yeah. And he tells Strange in the middle That's of a fight. True. I didn't even see in the that middle way. of yeah, a fight, he says, "Yeah, you're like Cap only." Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> like so that that's the yeah. way I take it now. Moving forward, yeah. that's where the roles are. Yeah, fair yeah. Strange is the moral compass. I think. Compass, I mean, Peter I still, I still feel. And, I still know. feel like Black Panther is still going to be the. Though. He's going to be like the general. Black Panther is like, more of like the. Cap. All these people gone. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, all three of them. Talking of Winter Soldier's also gone. Dude, Winter Soldier. He's just like yeah, wolf. Boom, he's gone. That <laughs> was uh, that was a. Dude, well, he was the first one to evaporate. Which yeah. is the which Let's is the one that hurt you the most though? Mm. Peter because they lingered on it the longest. But that's because his spider sense kicks that's in right. or he something. Could, he yeah. was the only oh, one who man. saw it coming. Right? That's Everyone so else, sad. They just evaporated. But, as but they on speaking. the flip side, speaking of Winter Soldier leaving quickly, I was like, man, how many times is Steve gonna see this guy die? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, dude. But that's, every movie with dude, the two of them, one of my Bucky favorite, ends up getting. Yeah, one like, of my favorite lines from this film is when he says, "Oh, the White Wolf has rested long yeah. enough," and he looks at the arm and he's just like, "Where's the fight?" And that's it. You know, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't like. He's just like, just okay, cool. Let's do this now. Okay. Yeah, which I kind of felt sad. It's really sad Like yeah, that he's yeah. just seen So much war That he's just like Okay cool This is one more For the books But yeah I think the one That got me the most I don't know I think maybe Groot uh, Rocket the and Groot, Groot That was sad was also sad one, yeah. That was really sad the uh, Black Panther one was like a yeah, like okay. a yeah, just like such a weird out. reverse. Yeah, 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 like, you like, don't even see him. This is no time to judge. You saw his <laughs> hand going away. Yeah. yeah, but um, but speaking of another moment from the trailer that I just like, it was still so good to hear it in context. But I wish I hadn't heard it before because it was so badass. Anything. That Black Panther says with that accent is just amazing. <laughs> yeah, Especially his line of you know whatever engage defenses la 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 get this man a shield. Yeah. Mm. That is it's just so well, cool. But they're different takes, huh? I think yeah. Yeah, that's different fair. Takes. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, but it was still like I was like get this time. man a shield. It was such a fist bump moment. But I was like <laughs> I just wish I didn't. I wish I didn't know what he was gonna say. Like, and get it, this man a shield. <laughs> just different emphasis. And get this man get this a dude, shield. Get this dude a shield. Okay. But what about Wanda though? Dude, okay, so what did you think of the Vision uh, Wanda storyline? I actually liked it. I, liked I, I it. thought it was I liked like it emotional, time around. the yeah. emotional through line for the film, right? Yeah, but look at Wanda Maximoff as a character from what she was and what she's become now. You mean the accent? <laughs> the accent, yeah. that's, that, that's yeah. like the least of my gripes at this that, point. Her she's, biggest superpower is slowly disguising yeah. her accent. <laughs> hey man, she's been around Europe. Yeah. But, or maybe but Vision was doing something. Her powers are not definitive enough in this movie is what I feel. Like, while don't she was know do- what she's yeah, capable yeah. of. Like, while she was yeah. doing mind control ambiguous. and bending stuff in the past. Sure, she's just throwing out red light yeah, it's she's telekinesis like, yes. yes telekinesis now she's just like why was she sitting up there because you yeah, don't know right. what her powers but are but even in the comics it is that though that those are her powers man like it's like she's got mind control she's got she's yeah. not like Jean Grey in, in many but ways but she can also alter reality if she wants to Like she, she, that is her biggest like yeah, thing that's yeah. why it feels like Which it's like red in colour really, anyway, right? exactly like yeah. the reality it's story like, uh, like the no more mutants is exactly what she does in the comics she just Says eradicates it. all the yeah right I didn't really think of it while watching the movie but it is on second viewing I was really bummed out that she's just like taking vision and flying around like but dude, dude you know when pack. she was flying around it looked so X-Men I don't know what it was about that it was really <laughs> it, cool. it was very X-Men yeah, yeah I love that but I it was, it was like great. I agree that they had to like bring in these strong characters not only Thanos but also his children were strong enough yeah. so you have to like undermine the Avengers at some point or yeah, I mean other. yeah not all, How powerful will All of them be Like you can't You'll have to do Some kind of You can't standardize Their power That's why like Vision gets stabbed In the very beginning itself Now you can't phase you, Now you can't go through Yeah, yeah. You have, you have to that, knock off They, they took points. care of that yeah. Yeah. But The, the, the children of Thanos By the way While mm-hmm. we're at it What do you guys think I thought they were great Especially like the Maw Sounds Ma, like Ma, yeah. great. I think, He sounds like a cult leader Correct yeah. Who is He's like Can Bhagwan. we get the name Of the actor who I, I remember him? looking it up It's not someone We He sounded very familiar I don't know Yeah I don't know For me it's Sounded very familiar, but the other thing is that, I mean, uh, again, it's not that important that they all needed like some kind of characteristic. None of them had any. They know. They all, I felt like they, they were just did, overall evil. They were okay? stereotypes. They were just the, the four horsemen. That was it. It was just one like was a, one, them, one yeah. was Rocksteady slash Bebop, Bebop right? yeah, yeah, exactly. One uh, was uh, the woman of the group. Like yeah, that's how they have done it <laughs> because they need to have that cat fight at the end. Yeah. Then uh, one was the smart guy, and uh, one is uh, the oh, leader. Is the leader? Who is the leader? The leader is Squidward. Yeah, yeah, Squidward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. that is the best. But but hang on, before, uh, just coming back to Wanda for a second though. Did anybody else feel a little fatigue when the Vision Wanda final scene happens about like basically kill me? Because we had just seen that with Gamora and Star Lord. Hmm. We'd seen that exact same beat. Did anybody else feel oh, a little uh, bit of like? I, I think feel like I, I've been here. Okay, fair enough. But I thought that they they stretch it out just so that they can really 
HBO it You know like yeah. Basically she's just like yeah. Okay cool you killed him Reverse time Shoop, It boom. worked Yeah, yeah. like yeah. it totally worked The yeah. moment worked But the thing is like One to begin with I was never too invested With the two of them I actually preferred until, the, <clears throat> I mean what I mean Up until this movie yeah. I was never too invested in them yeah. And then when the movie began I really liked that scene in Scotland So I was like Okay I'll give them a second chance yeah. And I was Totally with them for the yeah. ride And then the Gamora scene happens With Scotland. Starlord That was fine yeah. And then when the Mind Stone front, uh, conclusion is going down, I'm like, great, let's see how this goes. And then when I see the two of them face to face doing that, I was like, hang on, like this, I feel like this is recycled dialogue. But from both like, of them will have like equal, different different payoffs when you watch it, okay? Yeah, that's true. Like now that we know what happened in mm-hmm. the Gamora scene, we yeah. don't feel as bad about it. But when you're watching yeah. it for the first time, you're like, oh shit, she's going to die and mm-hmm. he'll have to kill her. Yeah. But that doesn't happen. Yeah. But in this case, she actually tries because she's the only one who's, you know, infested with the whole infinity gem power. So she's yeah, trying to... Yeah, it's true actually. Yeah, she's I the only one who has... Was, uh, I, I didn't feel fatigue I felt like that was Kind of the point of it the I fact felt that sad I, I genuinely yeah, Throughout the movie What they're saying is That the only way to achieve something Is to sacrifice Some right. What's the whole cap love. arc Which is yeah. like You know you, you don't trade lives Or you know Sorry. like basically Exactly yeah, like, that was Are you willing to trade a life And the only person who succeeds Is Thanos mm-hmm. Who was the only one Willing to trade a life mm-hmm. Yeah it's actually Hard very true. to trade life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As they say. <laughs> yeah. No, the other things that I really enjoyed about this film, the two main arcs or subplots in this film, which I did not see coming at all. Like I was, uh, Dinkar and I were talking about this at the end of the film, is that you kind of know the main beats of where it's going to like, going to have that Pelinor Fields type battle at the end, which mm. is at Wakanda. And you know, there's going to be the Titan fight. But the two arcs I really liked was, I liked the Stormbreaker Thor kind of arc, which was kind of separates it, makes it a deep. It was like, like a quest arc. Yeah, it's a quest yeah. arc. That that's one which is different and the second one is the soul stone arc which are you know two things that I absolutely did not know were going to happen in the film and it felt really those were the things that are really refreshing especially the Thor Stormbreaker yeah, uh, like tree, sort yeah. of detour I felt like this is the first time you have a proper B plot in a Marvel movie because otherwise it's like hmm. it's all leading to one point right Fair it's like enough. a pyramid that like trickles down yeah. Yeah, yeah this was a thing great is, B plot I, I liked that plot I did not even on second viewing I didn't see a point of having Peter Dinklage's character because yeah. did everyone end, else also feel like he was like he just having out, the, out, of, the out, out of place like nobody's business? Yeah. It was things Why was I'll, he it's doing very this forgivable. Deep voice? It's yeah. very I like I'll forgive it completely because it's, it's fun. The voice is doctored for real. It is doctored. But they wanted but a dwarf, dope. right? Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like the They're most like, celebrated hey, what dwarf. famous dwarf do we know? Yeah. That guy. No, but sure. it was either him or Warren Davis. He's a great actor. Here he was just like uh, yes, that's I think, what yeah, I, think the ca- I think the character is super important. It's there in the comics. That's what. That's how Beta Ray Bill also gets Mjolnir and everything. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like an important character. That whole place. Ne- what is it? Neville the way he Neville plays Neville. Just like the, Some okay, odd choices. I'll there. put it like this. Like, I'll put it like help this. me find the handle tree. Yeah. The yeah. only <laughs> thing. The only way I will feel redeemed about the existence of this character is if they bring him back in the I'm next sure one, I, and sure. he and he does do something as useful again. Yeah. Because, because the thing is, look at the end of the day. He didn't do anything He literally Poured a cauldron Yeah That is all he did uh, Yeah it was not So necessary <laughs> because But, but like, he had These metal hands To break it Nobody else would have Been able to break it At Groot that could have Broken it no. Rocket ah. could have It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, tree. it's a, a mold a Made it's a mold. from the Dying star guys yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, What I I'm really enjoyed Was him. that yeah. one line He does He's just like <laughs> Uh, what he's like it'll kill you and he's like you know what he said yeah, yeah. it'll kill you like, that's like, what kill yes. only if I die yeah. he's like yes yeah. that's, that's what, what killing you means, means. <laughs> did, you, did you catch the direct Game of Thrones reference though oh what is when, that right when he's same same beat when he's doing that holding the thing like yeah. with the fire going through he's like Hold the door. Oh, okay. That's he literally true. yells, hold oh, the door. Oh, yeah? shit. Yeah, I, missed shit. That. Yeah. I missed that. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and nice. those rings are shaped like the rings uh, yeah, in the Game like of rings. Thrones astral like, like rings. Oh, Natural okay. rings. I thought you meant the rings were shaped. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. no. Oh, no, man. No, but I, I think that, that plot was really nice. It was good. Uh, it was good because it, that he, I mean, this is a few things that make that scene so golden. Like one line is saying that potent, like theoretically you could summon the Bifrost. So good, like writing just mm-hmm. like right there. And they have and the, the Bifrost logo on the front. Of the, the, of the no, no, it was, it was the LGBT flag. <laughs> what? It's got the Bifrost uh, logo is a rainbow. Oh, there's only that one. Okay, no. Oh, and, yes. and the other? <laughs> the Bifrost It's got the Bifrost logo. logo on. The branding is so on point. <laughs> it's also got uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. <laughs> and the second thing which is... You can stream is, uh, straight to another weapon. Uh, <laughs> continue your fire from the same point you left off. 
<laughs> Predatory <laughs> wine 10 seconds yeah. Yeah. And the, and the second thing Which is so nerves. good Is the Groot You know Sacrificing his arm for To be the handle Yeah that was great That was so So well done Very like, nice I, You know the, the things that really Make this movie work for me Are the The things that you imagine What would happen If two characters met And yeah. they service those Really well yeah. like, Beautiful Whether it's the You know I am Groot I am Steve, Steve Rogers. Rogers I thought that was that really was beautiful yes. yeah. It's just so fun The Winter Soldier And Rocket Like again Two characters You don't expect yeah. to see And then you know The whole arm gag From Or like the Prosthetic gag Which has been Leading up from films yeah. <laughs> Different yeah. films Just kind of pay but off That's what so That's good. what dreams are made of Right yeah, like when, totally. you, when you read comic books When totally. you when you imagine so All these characters Playing off against each other Even like The aliens reference Something that he's been doing It's not like They've written yeah. new things I, It's like I kind of wish characters. I kind of wish That we got more scenes Like when uh, They had the face off With the guardians And uh, And, uh, and just strange, strange I think, Yeah like Yeah like, uh. Who, where's Gamora? What's why a Gamora? Is he, yeah. How? Why is a Gamora? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was just that that was really funny. So so which amazing. master do you serve? Amazing. What do you want me to say? Uh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so the, okay. So before we close out, the last thing: did anything get spoiled for anybody? No. Nothing. Nah. Absolutely nothing. So I'm the, so happy. You went in fresh. So yeah. I too had nothing spoiled except. Literally 60 seconds before the movie hmm. In the weirdest way what, what, uh, so? so I showed up super early And I'm standing in a crowd full of people I was like crap Some of these might have some seen the previous be screenings yeah. yeah right. So I put my headphones on And I was listening to the Guardians playlist I'm like cool This ah, is good idea. fine hmm. So these guys are so on it They're to a fault It's literally the day of international release It's 10am in India Which means it's not even <laughs> It's not even out yet in the States hmm. It's like a few hours away and listening to it on Spotify, I'm listening to the Spotify Guardians playlist. They had the Rubber Band Man by the Spinners, which is the one oh, Guardian song in this movie, yeah. in the playlist. Nice. Along with, which freaked me out, they had Don't Stop Me Now by Queen, yes. also in the Guardians playlist. Huh, so, I was really confused. It, I think it just didn't compute for me because I was literally 60 seconds from walking into the theater. So I was like, why is this? I, like, I thought like somebody in- infiltrated my yeah, playlist. Correct, yeah. mm-hmm. And then... You hear the song I was like oh shit It was that song Oh sick so that was, That's cool actually It was yeah. really cool yeah. That's not, but I wouldn't then, call that a but then, spoiler Exactly no. it's not It's a good yeah. thing it's, yeah. a, it's, it's fun But then my head was racing Because I was like Crap so now when's Don't Those stop me now oh, They screwed you there also yeah. They fake trailered you In the Spotify yeah. playlist Yeah, yeah. Oh my amazing. gosh, that's amazing! Yeah. But dude, there are some idiots out there, man. Like today, we were in the in the theater and we waited, whatever, for all you know, for whatever it's worth. We wanted to watch the post credit sequence again, mm-hmm. and we were there, and like the she's like going into the beeper, the shot, you know, mm. of Captain Marvel, and there's this one guy who's sitting right next to Dinkar, and he's like, "Can you guess who it is? Can you guess who it is? <laughs> it's and before the thing reads, it's like Captain Marvel, and I was like, you're such an asshole! <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're such a dick! Oh wow. my god!" <laughs> Mm. Why And so loudly It's almost like They are just assuming That everybody's watched The film already yeah. And you know A lot of people Were just saying the things Just before they happen Right yeah, like, So the other thing Was like um, Like a vision You know The thing explodes And all that stuff And then somebody In the corner Is like Time stone I was <laughs> <laughs> like You're yeah, yeah, all Just yeah. a bag of dicks so you know, you know, we, were, we were 30 seconds Behind you in the theatre Janam and I Were following up with you Oh yeah, yeah. And we were walking inside Again the early morning Screening had done uh-huh. And uh, we met Kavita, Shakya Rohan oh, right. Joshi uh-huh. And they were just like just go away just don't even come here so we're walking towards them saying hi but they're like these people are crazy they don't give a shit about uh, holding back yeah, for like, yeah. the people so just walk away from us so we walked away but so the ushers cleared the walking area and then we walked inside <laughs> right. and I kept wow. my ears because you have to do so, that man you know so the guy sitting right next to me mm. it was so stupid he uh, was one of like several people in our row that like had like misnumbered seats or for whatever reason. Mm. But luckily, like in our group, there was one empty seat. So I was just like, screw it. You can just sit next to me because mm. it's not his. It wasn't his seat. But I was like, screw it. Just sit. It's fine. Mm. So he's by himself. Mm. I have never met a chattier guy in a movie. <laughs> he was by himself and literally like, so like... Was uh, he just talking to himself? He was talking, he was talking to himself. <laughs> what? But I'll, t- I'll tell you how he was talking to himself, right? So remember when they first go to Wakanda, right? They meet Black Panther and he's like, should I bow? Yeah, I'll bow. Yeah. And then there's something where um, where somebody says something about like, when you said you're going to open the world to Wakanda, I didn't expect to be like this. Like, oh, what yeah. do you expect? Yeah. And the line is, I don't know, maybe like a Starbucks or something. Uh, Olympics yeah. and Starbucks. Olympics yeah, and Starbucks. Yeah. The dude was like, She'll say Starbucks now. What? I was like, who are you talking to? And wow, that was impressively <laughs> accurate. But like, 
<laughs> Why are you talking? Wow. Yeah, wow. That, that was non-stop. That was one of like 20 times this guy did it. I think he may have seen it like now. the film screening yeah. before and he booked In the second Singapore. ticket. Uh, no, no. He just must have seen it at the 745 show. Oh, yeah. And then he saw the ticket. So I think he never left the theatre. He just roaming around with a ticket that he had for the morning ticket. No, no. He must have bought... No, no. Let's not put it past them. They bought both tickets. Yeah. There's only one IMAX. So they But he was talking out loud to compensate for all the friends he doesn't have. Yes, I think he went with his friends at the first one. They abandoned him after the first one. Because he's a chatty And then he found a friend in you. Yeah. <laughs> I would have thought he'd at least say to you like try to make but a friend oh man <laughs> people are just annoying. to himself All right guys so we're going to close the episode but we are going to take some uh predictions for the next film like what do you guys think we're going to do this more formally okay i want to yeah. do what IGN did actually which is that they wrote down some self put in an envelope and then uh do not envelope. open until uh, yeah. <laughs> but we can do it a few until when the you know when the trailer comes out etc sure. but for now can we write a tweet a fake draft envelope it. And yeah. then tweet it out the day before. No, okay. How, yeah. All right. So, what do you guys? Uh, what do you think? How do you think this is going to conclude? And what do you, what do you think is going to? What do you think are the big uh, things for the next movie? I mean, uh, everyone's kind of already guessed that only the original Avengers are there, etc. Yeah. You know, yeah. So many things. I like feel that. they will definitely sacrifice themselves for the next crop. The whole of all of them. I think all of them will go. All, all of them? them. Mostly. Oh, That's my problem because, because if you're going bold all the way, then you have to like eliminate all five, all six of them, and bring in the new guns, and that's what I feel. What? So none of them get to live happily ever after? That sucks. Yeah, I mean, I Hawkeye has a family dog. To- Tony, huh, Hawkeye. Tony has to, wants to have a baby. Okay, see that was established right at the start. No, I don't of this think Tony's film. making any more movies. Yeah, but this. they let him retire. But maybe like yeah, a, like he'll do a Batman at the end of uh, yeah, the he's Nolan like anybody can scene. become an Iron Man. It's he'll, go, he'll settle in Paris. No, I, no everyone can be Tony Stark. I'm throwing in for um, Strange coming back and opening up alternate realities and people saying, screw it, I'm going to go away here. And that's where they leave you. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not. I, I'm not going to commit to if it's against their will or if they willingly choose yeah. to do that. That's cool. But though. I think That's split. Me, yeah. I think split reality. I think as sense. far as yeah. the MCU is concerned, though, then they're like basically banished. Right? They will be dead. Yeah, I mean, I mean, because I don't then, think the MCU is going to get to a point of caveat. like I multiverses. Think, That'll get too complicated. No, I don't uh, think. I think they definitely you, use you, time you, as a as a as a tool to kind to of watch Agents of uh, Shield go back this multiverse thing. Okay, cool. But yes, I, and you see how no one watches Agents of <laughs> Shield. <laughs> That's why they won't bring it into the MCU. <laughs> uh, yeah, Boom. and nobody wants. To, no, more than nobody wanting to watch Agents of Shield. Nobody wants to watch Agents of Shields. So yeah. <laughs> so anyway, but, but but besides that, I think they're gonna. I think Cap is going to bite the bullet because he has nothing left to kind of live for in that way and he's done he's qu- he wants to yeah. have, he wants to be at peace maybe at rest maybe he'll go and find like Peggy in some kind of weird thing and then just cancel yeah, the scene I, also I think, think he's ready to live his life Cap now. will go Tony Cap will retire Tony will retire for sure because he's the guy they need to kind of you can bring him back you know, I, yeah exactly like, you know so I think Thor will also stay Thor 100% I think they'll make Thor 4 dude like, though even with Thor I mean like they've weighed that like they've weighed him down that moment where he goes like I'm 1500 wow, years old I've killed like twice as many just, people just a quick question yeah is Valkyrie dead No, half no. of the Asgardians are alive. Ah, huh, but yeah. but then that ship got blown to no, bits. No, like no, no. So the half sh- the, the ship, ship only half the ship is because he says that he's like half my people are dead. So yeah, and I watched huh. the entire uh, opening scene like very closely. Huh. The ship, which was much bigger in the Ragnarok yeah. ending, yeah. has split in the middle. Okay. It's it's flown away and they have probably escaped. Uh, okay. have probably they they'll, they'll meet Captain. It's just a shield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm believe I'm betting they'll meet Captain Marvel somewhere in the middle yeah, because maybe. she's floating around in space. But I don't think they're there in that movie. But I'm sure in Avengers. Just for they'll probably they'll, they'll live, have yeah. to bring them back. Yeah, so um, yeah, I think Valkyrie, Korg, all these guys are are definitely. I like Thor's world very like sort of feeling right now as well. Like yeah. he just sounds so Jaded. defeated yeah. in that moment. So but then like, dude, he comes back like, like bring me Thanos. Yeah, like his, his, his acting that. chops have, have really just, just gone through. But they've yeah. given him that thing which he need. Like they needed. He needed that comedy man. Like yeah. you know. Yeah, you couldn't he, do it with Captain America. He was given a character that you had to do in like such an over the top way that it would end up seeming ridiculous. Unless you were a great actor, the yeah. way he does it now, with I mean, like the thing is, like, it, it yeah. really, it it's really, nice. it really says something when we've all agreed that the most badass moment in this entire film, with so much nonsense happening, is when a dude literally gets teleported down a rainbow bridge. Man, it's yeah. so yeah. Good, with though. an axe. That like that's so like, with a cool and a tree. Yeah, yeah. With, like a, with, like a, with a, <laughs> kid, a rabbit and a tree. It's just yeah. amazing <laughs> that one shot. I don't mind, you know, the IMAX so good. Like when yeah. he like takes off and suddenly like the scr- screen just becomes like blue yeah. and lightning and stuff. My God, that I like. I literally I was that, just like, that effect this is, just, I'm like, so glad I'm alive. It's come a long way. This. I feel the whole Thor. The lightning. No, they did a little bit in Ragnarok, right? 
but like they you nailed it. You know, you know, even neon with that shit. So good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. yeah. That was the single, like singularly, like the most badass yeah. part of the movie. Which is why that I think Cap and would... Cap and Bucky, uh, Cap and uh, Black Panther, running together. Like, Holy shit! Yeah. Where yeah. like Cap just takes so cool. off was oh, amazing. Yeah. So cool. So, so am yeah. I? Am I right in saying this is the Empire Strikes Back of our generation? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been saying that because it ends so dark, and you know, uh, and also it's yeah, it's it's. And I think de- it's like landmark in a it's sense, landmark. but I, I really feel landmark. like Empire Strikes Back stands perfectly well as a, a film by itself, also yeah. right. But here, I feel like that part two is like you have to watch them in a stretch. Once yeah. it comes out next year, you're never watching just Infinity War. I don't, part yeah, one. I don't, I don't mean, I don't mean as a film. I mean as a as, part, a, as, as like as a, a cultural, cultural moment, cultural moment, cultural, yeah, probably. cultural probably. moment, and a genre defying, genre, like asserting the. The why this yeah. this genre exists. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I think it was great in that sense. That yeah. Yeah. entire last third, how quiet it is. Yeah, yeah, the so fact good. that like there's no there's no like dramatic crying or like yeah. no or yeah. like uh, yeah. you know just, disappointed. Man, that, that, yeah. <laughs> My, I mean, just the last line is just Cap going like, "Oh God!" Like yeah. that's yeah, it's, it's that's like it. really hard. And like, the whole no, theater is just like people going. Even the end credits are completely <laughs> silent. silent. The yeah. Avengers, that piano Avengers version. <laughs> Infinity War is just like white text on a black background, and yeah. then even that evaporates. It's just and then that last like Ungli, which is like Thanos will return. return. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and not the Avengers. Yeah. That's the last like kick in the nuts. But we have all new Russos. memes now thanks to Avengers. Yeah. Dude, well. solid man. The memes so, are <laughs> dude. Like as far as I'm concerned, like when people go and say like, man, I was listening to NPR review this film, and they're just like, yeah, you know, and you know, just like, but. How can they do this? And I'm just like, guys, just enjoy it, man. Just enjoy the movie. It's so good. <laughs> it's like, this is unprecedented, man. It's unfriggin' precedented. So I think for that alone, yeah. just wow. Well you done. made like Bravo, brilliant man. characters work in one movie. Man, insane. Yeah. What a feat, man. Amazing. Anyway, all right. So this is our episode. Uh, if you guys, uh, we want to hear what you guys think about Infinity War. We want to know what crazy theories you have or points that we missed. In bullet point form. In bullet point form. <laughs> Will Thanos become purple again? Yes. Yeah. Where did he first find jelly? Was it purple in color? Was it purple Who's in color? Who's his doctor? Who is yeah. his Contact geekfruit at gmail.com Does his chin look like a scrotum or not? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Unless people have different I didn't ask scrotums. you. Ask the fans. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, <laughs> Contact geekfruit at gmail.com is the entire address. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at geekfruithq. And uh, yeah, mail us. Do show it or slide into our DMs. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being on this episode. And uh, we shall see you guys next week. Fun. There she stands, a podcast addict. Outside the bank, having traveled several miles to get in with other poor souls like her, the journey, though daunting for this youngling, will have some comfort because she has downloaded her favorite podcast. You can see more of her species on ivmpodcasts.com. Your one-stop destination where you can check out the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.